So we have team coverage tonight across the area as protests continue past a new curfew in Sacramento. Let's go live to ABC 10's Van 2. Van, tell us where you are and what you're seeing there. Well, as you can see behind me, National Guard troops have been stationed at the downtown Commons in Sacramento this evening. But to be honest, it has not been a busy night for them. Instead, local police have spent the last hour enforcing the 8 p.m. city curfew, arresting, arresting mostly stragglers who refused to go home when the main protest event was called to an end. Now, the day uh, was largely peaceful despite these late night arrests as the 8 p.m. curfew set in in protesters defied the order and marched down the streets but wanted to send a message that their protest for justice remains peaceful. Stevante Clark, the brother of Stefan Clark, led the crowd to a vigil at Cesar Chavez Plaza, but an hour after curfew he asked people to go home for their safety and to protect Sacramento from chaos. The legacy of George Floyd and Stefan Clark has nothing to do with looting, with violence, with murder, with slander. None of that. It has to, everything to do with love, accountability, justice, transparency, and legislative change. Now, many protesters say that the past few days of violence overshadowed their call to end a cycle of injustice towards people of color. Y'all are killing us. This is what happened. You know what I'm saying? It's, it starts with the killing, then it goes to a hashtag, then it goes to protests and marches and looting, and then after a while, everything fades and it's literally... Change needs to happen, and it's not going to happen unless we unite and that white people come together and use their privilege to help us. Now, the fourth night of protests here, uh, ending with arrest, and uh, it, though, largely remained peaceful. Quite a scene there to see the National Guard stationed at the Doco station right down there in downtown Sacramento. Our Van 2 with that live update tonight. Van, we thank you. You know, you may have received the alerts on your phone this evening. Sacramento has a new curfew for the first time since the 1940s. Tonight, people were told to stay inside starting at 8 p.m. and the curfew lasts until 5 in the morning. The mayor says the homeless and essential workers will not be affected by the curfew and public transit is still running. But if you are caught violating the curfew, you could be charged with a misdemeanor and face a $1,000 fine or possibly even six months behind bars. And take a look, the mayor of West Sacramento also saying the curfew is now in effect in West Sacramento as well. Both cities will determine if the curfew needs to stay in place tomorrow. And new information tonight for state workers. CalHR and the CHP says that offices will remain closed tomorrow after staying closed today due to these protests. The city of Sacramento and West Sacramento are affected along with several other California cities. And we do want to remind you, tonight started off peacefully. This prayer gathering in downtown opened this evening with a native prayer song and dance to reflect on the loss felt by families impacted by police violence. Some called for reform saying it is a violence and looting has been shameful. I've witnessed what happened to George Floyd and seeing what's happening on social media. And I wanted to be a part of something that was peaceful and well organized and everyone's assembling really peacefully. And um, I just thought it would be important for me to be out here and support it. And now this peaceful protest continued throughout the night, even past that curfew set by Sacramento City officials, which is where we're seeing some arrests right now. Now, we do want to go out live to ABC 10's Giacomo Luca. Uh, tell us where you are and what you're seeing behind you. Madison, right now we are outside the California State Capitol building. Behind me you can see a few people in police custody, but I want to tell you, I was here last night and the scene here is starkly different, almost in opposite compared to what we saw uh, uh, just last night. Now, we could hear the sprinklers going off uh, around some of these government buildings this evening. That definitely wasn't the case uh, in the same exact spot where I'm standing right now, about the same time, in fact, there were dozens of police officers standing right here in riot gear and lots of different equipment, as well as uh, protesters uh, down the street about hundreds of them and that's when uh, police crews uh, started firing uh, uh, 
rubber bullets as well as flashbangs and those sorts of things towards hundreds of protesters. But again, this evening, we are not seeing really any of that. It is almost silent. Now, the one thing that has changed tonight is we're seeing presence of law enforcement as well as National Guard patrolling the streets of Sacramento, barricades all the way around the Capitol, and dozens and dozens of CHP officers, as you can see right behind me, guarding the state legislature building. Uh, but again, not a lot of protesters or anything that we're seeing here around town. We'll send it back to you. All right, Giacomo, thank you. Of course, we'll keep you updated if things change on your end.